Hey YouTube, it's Robotnik is Sexy, and this is a match that I'm having with the one, the only, Magus Blaziken. Link in the description. Uh, he's uh, he's he's got a lot of subs. He's got like, I don't know, like, I don't know, thirty six hundred or something. It's like immensely huger than than the subs that I have. And uh, he wanted to do a region match, uh, and he's doing third gen, and I'm doing fifth gen because I have a lot of fifth gen Pokemon, and my team like isn't really that good. Like, I don't know. I just like stuck Reuniclus in there, stuck Haxorus in there, stuck. Um, there are four Pokemon that I used the hell out of in the beginning of fifth gen, and they all worked kind of together. And I got Scarfdagon, Embor, Ferrothorn, and Jellicent. Um, but, it's, like, most of them just sit there and take hits. Like, I don't know. I obviously didn't think this th uh, team through, but uh, Jim Henson is still a champ. Still a reigning champ. And uh, we had this match at, like, 5 in the morning, and I don't know how early it was for him. But he said he was tired, but... Yeah, like, I should be selling logs in bed, like, dreaming of jobs and, like, futures and stuff, but I'm, like, awake at 5.22 a.m. narrating this battle because I feel like it. Uh, I'm gonna Draco Meteor, that, that, uh, Swamp Bird, and it does, uh, well over half, which is nice, but it's got leftovers, which is annoying. We're gonna double switch. He's gonna go into Rachi. Uh, and I'm gonna Thunder Wave it, cause this is Gordo, and it knows Thunder Wave, and it catches people by surprise. Whoa. Well, you're surprised. He uses Wish. Um, uh, he also used a lot of the wrong Pokemon, like, he wanted to use a Choice Scarf, Metagross, but he used a Choice Band instead, cause he, like, wasn't paying attention or something, so that does affect the battle. Uh, same with Rachi here, he didn't put U-turn on, but... I mean, U-turn would actually hurt him because of Iron Barbs, so... In this situation, it doesn't really matter. But, like, if I was carrying a Celebi or something, then it would matter. Uh, but I'm, like, not, so that's no big deal. Uh, I'm gonna switch into Pringles, um, kind of... Kind of trying to predict the High Jump Kick, actually, and, like... When I think of Blaziken, I think of High Jump Kick, but I'm thinking of the Uber version of Blaziken, and we did agree that he could use... Uh, third gen Blaziken, uh, so he does that, um, and he does Fire Blast, and he does like nothing, and he talks like on the Switch, and it's, uh, hey, Latios, my best friend ever in the world, never, who slays me night and day, unless I have uh, my Scarf Hydrogon, who, like, revenge kills it, guaranteed, 100%. Um, uh, I'm gonna switch into Gordo, I'm basically just switching around here, um, like, uh, like, whenever I don't use Dusclops, I feel really, really confused. <laughs> like, as far as, like, switching and, like, stuff, like, I don't know, like, you know what I mean. Like, if I don't have Dusclops to switch to, I feel like, I feel like I'm naked or something, because I use Dusclops in, like, every battle in my life. Um, I'm gonna U-turn, because I'm afraid of his body slam. Uh, we're just gonna come and coming to... it's gonna... it's gonna happen later. That body slam. Uh, anyway. Uh, he's gonna body slam at Neckbeard, but he doesn't get the para, and this is really weird. He pops my balloon, which is fine, which kinda sucks, because I was wanted to save my balloon for Metagross, because it'd be really cool to do that, but... yeah. Uh, so uh, he's gonna switch out and basically sack his uh, Swampert, which is fine. Um, Use five blades doesn't do much, but I'm packing the hammer arm. The hammer arm is like uh like that. Oh, it just f falls right down. The big muscly brawny giant pig man arm it just knocks his eyeballs out and he's dead. So that's cool. Neckbeard gets a kill, which is cool. I actually wrote down the teams for this. Like um I usually don't because I usually um. I don't know, I like, don't remember to, or don't care enough, or it's like a mixture of the two things, like, um, like I'm distracted or something, I don't know. Um, but I should do that, 
because it makes life easier. Uh, he's going to drink a meteor. I'm just uh, going to let Neckbeard take it because I don't want anybody else to take it. Um, he definitely has a... I mean, he's a Salamence, so he doesn't, definitely has a fire attack. Um, now, this is the only thing my Reuniclus does the whole match. He gets that nice free switch because Embor was was a buddy and sacrificed his life so I could get a free trick room. Which is great, except it's not great because he went into Jirachi and is paralyzed, so now Jirachi is like the friggin' speediest thing on this earth. Uh, so I'm like, oh, that sucks. Uh, so I go into uh, Pringles here to like. Uh, like, start using Iron Defense, like, six million times, so my defense is, like, huge. And he doesn't flinch me with Iron Head, either. Like, he doesn't get any hacks with Jirachi, so, like, I don't know. Like, he must have had some bad luck. He must have, like, walked under a ladder or something. Because it sucks for him. Because uh, he could have, like... I don't know, it wouldn't have done anything anyway, because I have recovery, and he's going to switch, so. Um, switches into Lance, uh, I don't know why it's called Lance, whatever, he's, he's wish passing, which is which I totally forgot about in, in the world existing universe, like, I forgot you could do that, because it was five in the morning, and I was tired, um, so I'm like, whoa, Lance is full HP, that's crazy, uh, so I decide... To go into Pringles, and it does a butt ton, um, but still, somehow my mind doesn't realize that it's choice specs damage. Like, the poison damage, like, registers as life orb damage in my brain, because I'm, like, tired. So I'm like, wow, that that hurt a lot. So then I switched into Gordo, because uh, I resist that. And i um, going to start setting up those entry hazards, I believe. Uh, which is cool, because that's what Gordo does, right? Uh, he's gonna switch into Kabuki. Would have been really, really, really awesome if I used Thunder Wave, but I'm not that pro. I just want to put some spikes. And like, looking at this now, like only two, like two of his teammates are affected by spikes. Period. Like, what is this? This is Metagross, Jirachi, Blaziken. Well, I guess four, but like. I don't know, I'm not, I don't even count Swampert and Blaziken as Pokemon, because, like, I can deal with them. Um, so, I don't know, Spikes is good, I guess. Um, but, whatever. Uh, I think I sack my, my Pringles man here. Um, which is, it, in real time, it took me a long time to think of whether or not I should do that. Um, if I, I was trying to predict him to predict me to use the dragon move. I didn't want to use the dragon move because I thought he would predict me to do the dragon move and go into Jirachi. Honestly. So I'm like, hey, cool. Um, Jirachi will take Spike, Stealth Rock damage, and I could, like, two-hit KO Dark Pulse. Switches into Magus, which is himself. Uh, and this is... Uh, he also told me he should have led with... with, um... with Blaziken, but... Like, why? Like, Blaziken is not a lead Pokemon at all, so... Whatever. I predicted him to switch there. Uh, so, um, I could have been out of a duck bear, which is sad. Um, but I, I somehow land focus miss, uh, so I'm, like, really, really, really lucky in this match. Like, I have a hax shield on, and it just stays on for, like, the whole match. Uh, for which I apologize to Magus, because, like, um, he could have used some, because I'm kind of dicking around and, like, switching and all the time, and, like... Like, if Dragometeor critted here, I would have died and stuff, but... Uh, it doesn't happen, thankfully, so I'm just gonna, like, keep switching to Gordo and stuff, and hoping that he dies, um, and setting up spikes, uh, which is what I do. And he switches into his Metagross, which is a choice-banded choice Metagross, and this whole time, I, like, thought it had leftovers, even though it wasn't getting leftovers health, because I was tired, um, but, like... Uh, later on, I kind of figure out that it's banned because I keep fearing the bullet punch, and it just never happens. And I'm like, why? Why? Does does he not know bullet punch? Because that's, like, really, really strange. But, yeah. Uh, he, he wanted to give him a choice scarf, but he gave him a choice ban. Uh, he actually used the wrong Metagross entirely, which is sad. 
so apparently I'm taking a long time to think of what to use. I think I just use spikes. I was like trying to think if he could get fire punch, because I, I know he can get thunder punch. Like, I think he could get an ice pu he can get ice punch too, I believe, like from tutor moves, which is like random as hell. Um uh, so yeah, that sucks, but um I think I have two or three spikes up now. Um so that's cool. And I'm like, hey cool. Um uh, maybe Fire Blast will kill him, but I know that it probably won't, but I'm like hoping that he's paralyzed or something. But something even better happens. He uses body slam and I avoid the parahax. Like, I don't know. I don't hax shield. It got got it it's like a bubble around me. It's like shiny, bright orange, it has sparkles. I uh, got the hack shield. Um, uh, so that's that. And um, he's in a really shitty place right now because my fire blast will kill all of his Pokemon. Like, he has no good switch. Like, it'll two hit KO anybody he switches to. And, you know, I'd probably miss twice. Um, in that situation, but he just decides to sack Jirachi, which is fine. I guess he was hoping for the Fire Blast miss, but I've got the Hex Shield, so Fire Blast doesn't miss. Um, I'm gonna switch out Jim Henson, uh, because I'm afraid of dying, and I, I need Jim Henson. Jim Henson is my key. Like, Scarf Dragon is, like, my friggin' key to winning every overused battle ever. Um, unless I use my sand team, and then I just, like, stall them to death until they, like, rage quit or something. Um, or, like, yeah. So, um, I use Earthquake here. I don't know why I didn't switch into Mance. That would have been great, um, but he doesn't, so, yeah, maybe he was tired, or, uh, so, Lol actually gets a kill. Didn't use him for friggin' at all, so, like, he's definitely a bad choice for a, uh, fifth gen team, I think. Um, uh, so I think I'm just gonna, like, sack him so I can get a free switch into uh, Scarf Tidogron, Jim Henson, who is the real hero of this match, and, like, I don't know, killed everybody, pretty much. Or, like, helped them to be killed. Um, he's gonna actually opt to trick hit me her hit because Duck Bear is a she, and so she gets my life orb, and I get choice specs, and I'm like, cool, I'll use Psyshock, and then he, like, kills me a Thunderbolt, so that's what happens there. Now, uh, yeah, Jim Henson is in here, and uh, I'm gonna U-turn back into Lol, who's not dead yet, because I switched into Reuniclus as fodder. Oh. So I'm gonna do that, and it's all good. And that's what happens. Oh, and this 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 battle is a really abrupt ending because my camera ran out of space while I was live recording it. So like right after I faint Salamence, it's gonna like just end. Like it's just gonna black out. It's gonna boom. So uh, good battle, um, Blaziken. Uh, look at his channel. Um, he's he's a cool dude as far as I can tell. Uh, has a nice accent. Don't know where he's from, but yeah, that's the match. I'll see ya.